Let's do ten Swedish words synonyms to story. Oi! My name is not Sven. It is Martin. Yeah. Yes, synonyms are a great way to expand your vocabulary by taking a certain word, and then you have many other words that kind of mean the same but in different ways. So we're going to explore synonyms to story, and story is en berättelse, en berättelse. En skildring is to paint a picture, is to depict something. It's a slight variation to story. It's it's my interpretation of something. En historia, which is something you tell based on facts,、uh, you retell a story,、uh, but it can also be something coming from you. But if you tell en historia, it's basically from your perspective onto something that is true facts. En saga, which is normally something you read for children, it's a fairy tale or a folklore, so something that is might not be real, but it's more towards the mysterious. And then we have en sägen. When you tell en sägen, which is a story that's been told and told, retold again through history, which might not be true, but it's more in the spirit of the culture you live in. But it doesn't have to be based on facts. En anekdot. It's a personal story that you tell about something that usually has a kick, something like a point at the end. En legend, which is quite close to the English one.、Uh, it's a story that. Doesn't have to be true. It probably isn't true. There might be some supernatural things、uh, tied to it. En legend, and the same goes for en myth, a myth, which is sort of like legend, but maybe not as grand. Then we have en fabel, en fabel, which is often an animal-driven story that has a moral sentiment to it. En fabel. Then we come to en roman, en roman, which means novel, and this is where languages get tricky. In Swedish, en roman is a long, you know, fictional book, while en nouvelle is a short story, coming from French. En nouvelle, short story, en roman, long story. Then we have an allegory, which is a story that has a broad message that you can apply onto real-world issues. An allegory, often used by writers, but especially by speakers. And the last word is en lik nense, where you compare something in order to make a point, to make another person understand what it is that you mean. En lik nense, something that my colleagues know a lot about because I do that all the time, and some of them are weird. So that was a look at synonyms to the word story and different ways that you can、uh, use different words to mean different things. I hope you enjoyed this. I think I will do more of synonyms because I know people want this expansion of vocabulary, which is an important part in learning a language, of course. So thank you for watching this video. There are more videos to watch. Just click and watch this cool outro.